first down. They run on first down for Jackson. Carl Joseph up from his safety spot to make the play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On second down, this is Jackson. Before being dropped inside the 40. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Toss play to Jackson. Pushing through the contact. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32 yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. On second down. It's Jackson. He's got a first down and much more Damn. inside the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14 yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already. And we've still got three quarters to go. Territory at the 40 40 yard line. 
and seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now call. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Brian Grant, the intended target, and it's third and short. The Raiders on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and three. On the counter, it's Corral. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the same half. So let's get you back yeah, out as well. Jackson, the Brandon shit. Charles Davis. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead of you. Resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken from the seven. He 
He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And a long run there in the end to top it off. After the touchdown, he wants to kick it off. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25.
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So they tried to go for it for time, but it really wouldn't have mattered this one. It was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They'll start here with Jackson. Fights free yet again. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down now, it's Jackson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season to continue to carry the ball at this rate. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. They'll run on first down. Jackson. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now again, right side. It's Jackson. it's over because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive yeah that was spirit crushing wasn't it and now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon yeah they were fighting so hard to stay in there they knew they had to stop them on that drive but when they were unable to i think you're exactly right you could see them sag on their sideline and i think this one might just be over Runs with the extra point and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. On first and 10, here's Cole. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Second down, now they need a big play here. Third and ten. And he held on to it too long. A coverage sack, down he goes. And that does it for this Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. You did it. You did it.